All right, all right, all right. There is a new file manager in town, um, is a bit of a prototyping at the moment so we can't really use it, but whatever because there is a motherfucking new files manager in town. It's written in GTK4 and Python, and by the way, don't get too much worried about the performance because we might be soon able to prototype in Python and actually develop in Mojo with system native performance. Besides, at the moment Hyperplane is an experimental project for creating a non-hierarchical file manager, rather something we can use right away. Um, README explains better maybe? So that's the official Hyperplane repository on GitHub, and it has very active development, so active that I even might miss a few things till I publish the video. I hope not. And anyway this is how it looks, and I can tell it looks already fantastic. Actually every Edwida app looks extra cute, but some special mentions to the folders design with the files previews, that are actually working, it's not a design or something. Next we have the glorious warning and let me read it to you with a dramatic emotion. This project is currently in alpha, you can try it out at your own risk, but be aware that things will break, it will have annoyances, data loss may occur, and it may kill your cat. Got it installed from GNOME Builder, and it says, please do not use it as your actual file manager. And for the love of God, do not give it access to your home directory. And I will show you in a bit how we can safely try it out. And here's the problem Hyperplane is trying to solve. The problem is that current methods for tagging files are OS, file system or application specific and not portable. The app was primarily built as a proof of concept for a non-hierarchical file manager, whose storage can still be conveniently browsed via conventional file managers. It is also a playground for design ideas like file extension badges, or a symbolic grid view. Then, it explains how it works, that I will show you on the demo so I skip reading this. Oh, and another thing, if you're lazy to build it you can download flat packs from the GitHub Actions alright? Okay, Hyperplane first run. And we have, Recent, Home and an option to create a new category which is basically another name for tags. Um, let me open a file manager to show you the physical place that the hyperplane stores the files. It's on hyperplane xdg flat pack path. Under data, hyperplane, and home. So we can basically perform all of our operations here, without risking lose our files, at least till we get a stable version when, and if ever of course. Anyway, now we can create our first category, let's call it photos, which I remind you it's just a tag. And inside this folder we can create one more folder, for example let's call it anime, and I believe this should be again, a tag. Needs a small refresh. Um, it doesn't exactly work, but I believe while GNOME Files considers this as a normal folder, Hyperplane will treat it as a tag. If I place some files inside, I perhaps can better explain the difference. Or at least I can pretend I'm explaining it because I'm not completely sure what's going on, and things simply don't work yet as planned. Coco here, and nope, drag and drop doesn't seem to work. Okay, one more folder calling it me, which with the best of intentions we suppose this is again a tag, and I will place my real self inside. And by real, I mean a realistic image created from the stylized me, which is super hot if anyone cares. So, if we check on the file structure on GNOME files, it looks like we have photos animate me, which is actually identical to hyperplane, but with one major difference. If we perform a search on hyperplane for anime, it will list all the files that are tagged as anime. To be completely honest with you, I could only know because I read it on documentation rather it was something that I figured out by using it, so I guess it really needs much more work to become a wholesome concept. Anywho, here are search results, and for comparison reasons if we do the same search on GNOME files, we'll only get back the anime folder since it filters files by name. Well, that was everything for now. If you find the project useful don't miss to support it, simply by using it and opening issues. Thank you.